the power is back. I have something new. I got something flying new. This Professor T review part two. It's time to get funky, funky. Everybody clap your hands. Because we got the Professor T leaderboards. So now I'm going to bring it over. Bring it back to life. Back to reality. The Professor T leaderboards. I'm excited about this. So first, there's some explanation in order here. I apologize that this looks ugly. I'm still figuring this part out, how to accomplish this in a more pretty and visually engaging way. But just bear with me while I'm getting this figured out. It seems impossible to, to um, get Tear Maker to do exactly how I want it to do. And not many other things look pretty and do this. So we're using a spreadsheet. I'm just keeping it real. So let's explain the order now since this is new. I got to give you guys the breakdown of the order of the previous videos of what I liked and how it ranks. Once again, this ranking is nothing personal. It's not to say that anybody's is worse than somebody else's. It's to say this is the top of what I like and where do I rank it in comparison to my personal preference to other songs I've done on this review series in, a, in order. So I always say that I hope that everybody can be grown adults about this and realize that this is just my opinion of what I like to listen to the most and your opinion might differ. But like I said, I just got to put that out there because I know some people, they, they go to Drake mode, they get in their feelings, they go, I'm upset, got a million on my head of disrespect. So... Let's go, I got that out the way. Let's go through. We're going to go from the bottom to the top. Rounding at the bottom at 16. The, the homies over there, the Faith Quinn, King of a Thousand Skies. What I like slightly more than that, I like Kiki Life. What I like slightly more than that was Lucky on My Way. You remember, that was like the, the first video I did where I got mad. So they're lucky that they're not at the bottom. They should be, but I'm just going to be honest. Because of my preference, I thought... Because it was so bad, I thought there was at least a little bit more entertainment factor. Because it wasn't very good. That bumped it up above those two. 33 Dogs, Mr. Lion. That one, it was kind of a sleepy Saturday upload. So that one there is at the bottom. Because it's a little bit slower. I like faster paced songs. BT, For Real. This one, it's, it's towards the bottom. It, I, You know, this is not sexism. The reason why, if you know this, BT, for real, a female rapper, and Kiki Life, a female rapper at the bottom. It's not sexism. I just wasn't feeling their songs. And um, hopefully that will change soon. Hopefully I get some more female rappers and some more songs. You get some more better representation. So let me hear some, some more female rappers. Unless, again, there's no disrespect to them. It's just simply, I haven't gone back to their song. I wasn't feeling it as much as what's high on the list. The Brass Machine, I Think I Love You. You know, the jazz group, brass cover. Something just relaxing. Corey James, Dreaming, ranking slightly above the Brass Machines. Uh, Corey James, another real smooth, real relaxed song. Still towards the bottom. Then but just barely cracking the top 10 for now. Ty P, Reply, just barely cracking the top 10 at number 9. A rap song, New York City rapper. Vocals, X, Jason Alessi, Walk the Line. I uh, actually was feeling that song. It's a little bit low. In fact, I'm going to bump it up here because we can. I'm going to bump this up. I actually, no disrespect to, whoops, I didn't do it right. No disrespect to my boy J.A. Wild. I like yours, but I got to be honest about it. I think I like Vocals slightly more than yours. So J.A. Wild, West Coast rapper, Hearts Don't Lie, rock group from Drew Sizzle. You just saw that this week. I Needed You. I like that song. The top five. This is going to eventually expand to the top ten. But since we haven't done that many right now, I'm just keeping it at the top five. 
And at the end of the year, the top 10 songs are going to get an extra special shout out end of the year video. And I'm going to do a little over the top extra something special for all the people that were in the top 10 at the end of the year. For right now, though, it's just the top five. And the people that have that distinguished honor, the songs I was really, really feeling, we got Botica with The Water. I loved that song. It's been stuck in my head. So relaxing, so smooth. Henrik, Stressed Out, I love this song too. Another one that's been stuck in my head. I love that track, and I'm so happy to see that. You know, he's getting his views up. He's getting some popularity on social media. Good for him. Number three, Draco. Produced by King Girl, Extra Freestyle. My my homies from across the pond, from England. Rapping, spitting some bars. It was very energetic. I enjoyed it. And I've been going back to their uh, YouTube channel. I like what they're doing over there. I like hearing rappers and, you know, different people from different countries. Number two, Kajera, I Don't Mind. That was the rock song um, from last week, I believe. That was another excellent track. So that way is number two right now. What could place over Kajera? Geek and Taylor Jones back to love. I was dancing dang there through the whole video. So you already knew there was no way that couldn't be number one. So we're going to have to see now. Because that one, I haven't danced through the entire video yet on another track. So we're going to have to wait and see. Maybe somebody towards the end can outplace Geek and Taylor Jones back to love. Maybe a female rapper so y'all can get down from the bottom of my list and up to the top. I gotta hear some more female rappers. Maybe one of y'all will make that heat. So without any further ado, we're gonna enter in the homie Joe Cap. Personal blend. What was the name of the track again? I already forgot. Midnight Rendezvous. I probably messed up the spelling of that. So, where does it rank? Bomb. Yay, it ranks another seven. That's pretty high up, my boy, Joe. So, I, so yeah, man, if you see this, you made it up there pretty high, my boy. Number seven. That's up there, man. So these are going to slide around as the year goes on and we do more and more of these. So we're going to see. Are you going to still be in the top ten at the end of the year, my boy? I got a feeling you were because you brought it with this song and... You never know. Maybe it might be another one. And the same thing for anybody else that's on this list that's low right now. Don't feel bad. This is the beginning of the year. There's only 17 songs out here. There's going to be a lot more than that at the end of the year. And anybody that's like down there lower than number 10, do not be offended. As that year goes on, I know for a fact I'm going to have songs submitted to me that are going to be trash. And y'all are going to be way higher in the rankings comparatively. So do not feel offended. Also, you will get a second chance because this is a daily series. If anybody that's low on the list because I wasn't feeling it, like Lucky on my way, like I said, that one is higher than Kiki and Faith Quinn songs just because it was so bad it entertained me. So Lucky, I have a feeling that that's going to be sliding way down there. <laughs> but you never know. So, but what I was about to say though, before I said that, Faith Quinn, Kiki, Lucky, 33 Dogs, BT, all of y'all, Corey James, all of y'all, if you have new stuff that comes out toward the end of the year and I come back and check it, or if y'all come and cap in upon one of these videos and see that, and you have something new submitted to me, because you can have a, cho a chance to get up to the top of that list too. So, this was the first time we brought in a list, so that's the reason why this was super long-winded. I had to explain the list to you guys, so... That's the list.